A maze of narrow lanes bustling with people in South Mumbai. I am exploring today Mumbai's legendary jewelry market, the Zaveri Bazaar. The lanes are dotted with jewelry stores, small to the high-end ones. So, Tribhuvan Das Bhimji Zaveri first established his store in Zaveri Bazaar in 1864, and now it is one of the most popular jewelry stores in the country. So this is Narayan Das Manohar Das, which is a 300-year-old shop. Uh, as you can see, this was established in 1788. I mean, shops which have been existing since I don't know, like since how many years, they are still here in Zaveri Bazaar. With eyes on iconic brands, don't you underestimate the small ones? Deals worth lakhs are made from each little corner per day. Over 60% of all the gold trading of the country happens from these lanes. I wanted to understand the functioning of Zaveri Bazaar more deeply. And who else better than a jeweler could help me with that? By the grace of Mumma Devi Ma, the Zaveri Bazaar is there. And due to different community of people are united in this field, we have a very good bonding of all the caste communism and it has a trust. This market is full of trust and we trust each and other. That's why this Zaveri Bazaar is there because of the trust. Trust. When it comes to gold and diamonds worth lakhs and crores, trust is something that might not come easy. But this market thrives on trust. So Dharmkata is the place where people can actually get their jewellery, especially gold check for its purity and you can trust on the final word what you get over here. Naramkata is a weighing, with, with a weighing scale because that time there never used to be any electronic. Na? So that Dharamkata used to be a trustworthy, whatever they give was genuine weight. Since ages dazzling with diamonds, gold, pearls and precious gems, Zaveri Bazaar can be said the mother of India's jewellery trade. So basically this is supposed to be the oldest uh, uh, hub for the any kind of trade market for whether you call it for pearls, whether you call it for gemstones, whether it is uh, diamonds or any such kind of things. Even the jewellery market bloomed from here. Surrounded by pearls and crystals, I had begun to get lost in the charm of this beautiful market. I think I have seen one of the most beautiful amethyst pieces. By now I had explored precious gemstones, pearls and diamonds on the Danji Street in Zaveri Bazaar. It was time to check out the hub of gold here, the Dagina Bazaar Lane of Zaveri Bazaar. Lined with gold shops, I stopped by one of the most popular shops in the area. India's favourite metal shone in all its glory, in all sizes and all budgets. Speaking to Mr. Kumar Jain, the owner of this shop and president of Dagina Bazaar, I was amazed by the magnitude of livelihood it sustains. यहाँ पे 35,000 कारखाने हैं, 3,000 ground floor shops हैं और कई लोग 5 से साढ़े पांच लाख लोग आते हैं और काम complete करके जाते हैं। तो एक बहुत बड़ी industry अब मैं वो समझता हूँ कि एशिया का सबसे बड़ा hub जो है वो जवेरी बाजार है। When it comes to manufacturing jewellery for this market, I had some information in hand. Manufacturing is through these Bengali carvers. They are the best. They are the, they are the best artists and the best creators so that will always remain remain here they are located in the area of say half kilometer one kilometer radius it was my time to explore this so i am currently going to the workshop or the karkhana where the jewelry manufacturing actually happens come with me it was the first time i was to explore what goes into making those mesmerizing pieces of jewellery? In a small room sat three artisans focused on the painstaking craft of jewellery making. 
As the Kariggers explained me the process, I realized designing a great piece of jewelry was not mere creativity. It was a work of sweat and toil. Coming back to the street, I was extremely tired and hungry by now. But when you are at Zaveri Bazaar, you can never go hungry. So just in case you get tired of all the jewellery scouting, there are a lot of eateries where you can eat your heart out and refresh yourself. In fact, Zaveri Bazaar has one of the biggest khao gullies in Mumbai. Coming back to jewellery, if you are on a low budget, Zaveri Bazaar will still make you shine. From big imitation jewellery showrooms to beautiful pieces of jewellery on the street, artificial jewellery is another big market here. If you are at Zaveri Bazaar, you will surely not go back empty-handed. This place has survived three bomb blasts, riot and building collapses. What we have faced in this all thing, all the blasts and everything, ultimately people are still coming here because there is a trust in this area. People trust Zaveri Bazaar because of the quality. What the Zaveri Bazaar people, the Danji Street people we all are giving is quality what we are providing. That's why the world is coming here. Come whatever may in chaos and crowd, standing on the foundation of trust and unity, this iconic market still stands as the glory of Mumbai, making India shine in gold and diamonds. Well, all that glitters might not be gold, but all that glitters is surely Zaveri Bazaar. So for all your jewellery needs, do come over here and experience the heritage of Mumbai. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.